There is more to tattoos in Japan than just Yakuza. Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. In this channel, I, Shogo, will introduce various topics about Japan. To learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, this is your One Step Deeper. I'm sure that everyone knows about tattoos being a taboo in Japan. But I believe most people think it's because tattoos are related to the Japanese gang Yakuza, right? Actually, that doesn't explain the whole story. Today, I'm going to talk about the history of tattoos in Japan and why it eventually became a taboo. I also have a message to those who have tattoos and are thinking of coming to Japan in the future. Watch till the end and you will fully understand the history and culture of tattoos in Japan. So let's go to the The first historical records of tattoos started in the 17th century, the beginning of the Edo period. In this time, tattoos were especially popular among men called tobi and hikaku. Tobi were those who worked as architects, security guards at festivals, and firemen, while hikaku were delivery men. Because they had to move around a lot, they did not wear regular kimonos, but wore hundoshi, Japanese traditional underpants. The hundoshi are still worn by the sumo wrestlers, by the way. This meant that most of their skin was exposed, and the people at that time thought this was somewhat embarrassing. You wouldn't want to run around everywhere half naked either, right? So tattoos were originally meant to hide their skin. Eventually, tattoos became a sort of symbol for these people. The tobi with dragon-designed tattoos putting out fires were admired by the townspeople. As the demand increased, the tattoo designs that started from simple letters and figures gradually became larger and more complex. However, from 1720, tattoos became a punishment for criminals. They carved marks and kanji characters on the criminal's forehead and arms to show where and how many times that person has committed a crime. So although tattoos were still admired among the tobi, some people started to have negative thoughts towards tattoos. Once the Edo period ended, and the westernized Meiji government was established, tattoos became illegal. This is because the Meiji government were desperate to make a strong, civilized country just like the western countries. And the existence of commoners wearing hundoshi and having tattoos were thought as uncivilized. In 1872, they restricted anyone from becoming tattoo artist or becoming a customer to the artist. Those who did not hide their tattoos with western clothes were caught and forced to erase their tattoos. After World War II in 1948, the restriction of tattoos was released. However, most Japanese had forgotten about the glorious days in the Edo period, when tattoos were a respected culture, and thus only the taboo after the Meiji era remained. Yakuza, the Japanese gang, were those who protected and inherited the tattoo culture. It is said that Yakuza has existed from the last half of the Edo period. The tattoos have been an important culture among them since the beginning. There is not one concrete reason why Yakuza have tattoos, but these are some of the widely known reasons. Number one, a symbol to show you are a Yakuza. Number two, a way to prove that you are fearless. Number three, a way to show your position in the organization. By the way, showing your tattoos in public is thought as a pathetic act by the Yaksa because it's like you're relying on your tattoos to scare people and act like you're tough. Because the glory of the tattoo culture has been forgotten and the Yakuza were those to carry on the art the idea of tattoos equals gangs were born. This is why many onsen hot springs prohibit 
the entrance of people with tattoos because it will scare other customers. However, recently, tattoos are gradually being recognized as a type of art among the young generation in Japan too. So now, having tattoos does not always mean that person belongs to the yakuza. Actually, as I explained earlier, yakuza will usually hide their tattoos. So if you see someone with tattoos in public, that person probably is not a yakuza. Lastly, I have a message to the people with tattoos who are willing to come to Japan. Japanese people are not afraid of tattoos in general. Although Japanese people do have negative feelings towards tattoos, this is pointed only to Japanese who have tattoos. Most people understand that the tattoos in other countries do not have the same meanings as they do in Japan. Please don't try to hide your tattoos or feel uncomfortable having them. People might look at you, but that is simply because tattoos are still rare among regular people in Japan. So lastly, today's conclusion. The history of tattoos in Japan has started from the beginning of the 17th century. The firemen mainly had them to hide their skin. And because these men fighting fires were like heroes, having tattoos was admired by the townspeople. However, at the same time, the government used tattoos as a way to mark criminals by writing symbols and kanji characters on their forehead and arms. After Japan's westernization, the government was desperate to create a strong western-like country, so they prohibited the tattoos from being uncivilized. Although after World War II, the regulations were released, Japanese forgot about the glory of tattoos. The yakuza were those who inherited the tattoo culture, so eventually having tattoos equal yakuza became a normality in Japan. However, this idea only applies among Japanese people. I hope that people with tattoos who are willing to come to Japan do not feel too uncomfortable. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. And my goal is to achieve 10,000 subscribers by July 2021, so I need your help. Thanks again, and I'll love to see you in my next video. Thank you.